also the multi-skill Evertune uh, was, uh, well, honestly, like through the years, we had so many people asking us for it. We have a lot of clients that love Evertune, that love multi-skill. And occasionally we got the question, hey, can you guys put the Evertune in a multi-skill guitar? Obviously with the limitations of the design and how they produce them, that's just not gonna work. You have the frame, you have the, the parts in the back that are always uh, straight. So you can't just put that in a multi-skill guitar and get a good result. <laughs> got the question uh, for it like several times already and what kind of uh, uh, sparked everything was when I was sitting down with uh, Mike, Mike Stringer uh, from Spirit Box. We had this talk in-house about making a multi-scale Evertune or if it would come about if they would put it out right Mike is always has always been involved with like new developments we use his feedback to come up with new features like he's been helping us a lot with the basses, for example, testing those for us as well, even not being a full-time bass player, but he, he uh, he's always very involved with what we do. And Mike uh, always used the 070S model with a hip shot fixed bridge, but for live and, and recording, the Evertune is such a great tool and it's become a vital part of his playing. So he moved over to Street Skill 070s for live playing. We were sitting down with Mike, Mike was like, guys, can't you just figure something out? Can't you?" get Evertune to do it. We talked about it and we said, well, let's just make it. So we, we started talking to Evertune about it and obviously they, have their production processes and stuff so they couldn't do it for us but then we pretty much just asked the question but what if we would design the custom parts that would be needed for multi-scale Evertune ourselves and just get that uh, going and they were really cool about it. To me it was logical I mean you had a frame and you wanted offset right you want it at the angle of the bridges that that we do for the SR series or for the S series and redesign the frame and make it millable. They were excited that we would, you know, work to get Evertune like fitted for multi-skill and they just want to want to spread the, the word, you know, they, they are very confident about their product and they're just very excited to see it being used more. So they gave us the green light to do this. They provided us with all the technical drawings and information that we the, that we needed. Cosmos has been awesome about that. We pretty much got to work. We had the first prototype. We put it into a guitar that uh, then immediately went to, to Mike. He went on stage with it, uh, tested it out, and it worked immediately. It just worked uh, really, really well. And we started taking pre-orders for our clients. Um, People got guitar spec'd out. We introduced it at, at NAM in 2023. And ever since, it's been a, a great addition to our lineup. And we're very excited to, to be able to offer it. We designed a, a, a custom slanted frame in which we put the individual Evertune modules and created the custom parts that are needed in the back of the guitar. Each bridge has to be put together individually as well because we buy in the Evertune modules and put them into our custom, uh, custom created parts. It was mainly a challenge like, okay, making it somewhat affordable because if you're making these kinds of things in, in small small quantities, it's it's expensive and um, it's still an expensive option like uh, uh, pricing is on our website and I'm not sure when you're watching this video but right now in 2024 I think a regular Evertune is about four 
for 450 euro upcharge compared to hip shot fixed bridge on our multi skills the ever tune is an 890 euro upcharge and that's just the cover for development and the custom parts that we need to make the frame of the ever tune itself is a cast it has some funky bits on how the the intonation screw which holds the whole module in place on how it hinges and therefore we needed to change that since we started we've been used to developing all our tooling and all our stuff for for that we need to build our guitars ourselves we're not looking to be like hey this is an RC this thing or whatever we just want to offer this to our clients and we shared everything with Evertune to ensure that if there would be other luthiers that would want to do something similar you know they'd have the info needed you know to to do something like this we also had the chance to uh, to improve on the spacing a little bit because the saddle spacing on the Evertune, I don't want to bash the Evertune because it's a perfect product, but, but the spacing is, uh, is a little bit narrower than, uh, than on most modern bridges. So we had the chance there to, uh, to improve on the spacing a bit. Couldn't get there all the way because the modules have a certain width and you want to have them still touching each other because otherwise you run the risk of them rattling against each other. Also in terms of the height of the frame, we could adjust that as well to, to our needs and make it more custom for us. With the Evertune you have these specific zones. We always set it up to be in zone 2 at the point where the saddle catches on and you'll be able to, to bend, right? And that's where it's intonated. I really like it for low tunings. I really like the fact that it takes away a lot of the energy, the initial energy when you, when you, when you strike a string that has a lot of mass so that it stays in tune exactly and it doesn't go up in pitch, right? Because that is what normally happens when you have thick strings and you have a low tuning and you pick too hard, your tuning might go up a semitone and then it comes down and that is, uh, that is something that the Evertune uh, really absorbs and uh, does that quite well. So I think, to me personally, I think that's the, the best feature about the Evertune. If you have a good guitar, it should stay in tune for a song, right? With the Evertune, you can go a whole set and maybe longer than that if you take care of your strings. But, uh, but to me, that is a huge feat. So we offer the multi-scale Evertune on all our multi-scale headstock guitars. Right now that is the 060S, 070S and the 080S, both in raw and painted of course, but uh, we can we can equip it in, in all those models. And uh, yeah, if there will be future multi-scale models added, the multi-scale Evertune will always be an option in that as well. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the quick and dirty story.